is well, it's not... a huge problem when you're dealing with a text as complicated as the Quran or let's say the Bible, where taken singly, there are certainly passages that contradict one another. And so then, well, then you are tempted by the desire to justify your own unquestioned beliefs because of your demand for power using reference to God. And then it's a worse problem than that too, because well, who's right in their interpretation, you know, and the, the way out of that in some sense is to approach a book like that with as much admission of your own ignorance and as much humility as possible so that, I mean, if you assume that such thing is reasonable, given that we're all people of the book and, and pray to God in some sense that you don't bend that to your own unacknowledged malevolence and ignorance. But that's a very, very difficult thing to manage, and it isn't even clear when you manage it, which is why we need to talk to each other in part. <laughs> ألا نعبد إلا الله ولا نشرك به شيئا ولا يتخذ بعضنا بعضا أربابا من دون الله فإن تولوا فقولوا اشهدوا بأننا مسلمون وَالَّذِينَ اجْتَنَبُوا الطَّاغُوتَ أَن يَعْبُدُوهَا وَأَنَابُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ لَهُمُ الْبُشْرَى فَبَشِّرْ عِبَادِ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَمِعُونَ الْقَوْلَ فَيَتَّبِعُونَ أَحْسَنَهُ أُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ هَدَاهُمُ اللَّهُ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمْ أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ